Oh, hi. Today, what I'm working on is trying to save some money, and I'm hoping that this home hint from Boulder Home Inspections today is going to help to save you some money as well. So, <clears throat> what I've discovered over the years is that heating your home can be quite expensive, and especially if you're on propane, like I am. This year, what I decided to do is try to think of some ways that I could save some money. And here I am today at the kitchen table working on crunching some numbers to see if there's something I can do to make a difference. One of the problems with propane is that the price fluctuates so much based on demand. So, for instance, I have a thousand gallon tank and when I fill that tank in the fall time, I can buy my propane around 40 cents a liter in the last couple of years at least. And a thousand gallon tank is basically 3,000 liters of fuel. So 3,000 liters of fuel, as I crunch the numbers here at 40 cents a liter, is $1,200. So it cost me $1,200 to fill that tank the first time in the fall time, and tank rental is around $200. So we'll say $1,400 to fill the tank. In my house, we burn through that first tank of fuel in approximately three months. So sometime January or February, we're going to be needing to fill that tank again. Of course, I'm not going to let it get down to 0%, but let's say for number's sake that I, that it, that I use all of the 3,000 liters. Um, so the problem is in February, the demand is higher for propane because everyone's heating their grain or they're heating their houses, of course, um, whatever it might be, the demand gets higher. So with that higher demand comes higher prices. And in recent years, I have seen the price of propane go from 40 cents a liter in the fall time to almost a dollar, and actually over a dollar at one point per liter. You can imagine the cost difference. So just crunching the numbers here, I can see that 3,000 liters of fuel in August, let's say, is $1,200, but at 65 cents a liter, which is not a big jump, but it's, it's a common amount, it's $1,950. So we're talking about $750 difference between August and February. And again, it could go higher. It depends. If we have a bad year for farmers, let's say, and they have to dry their grain, there's a big demand for propane. With a big demand comes big cost. So, so when I go to fill that tank the second time in the, in the winter time, sometimes it's really painful because the price has gone up so much. Sometimes, for instance, I can only afford, let's say, $800 worth of propane. If the price is really high and your tank is quite low, oftentimes it'll only bring your tank up 30 or 40 percent. So you have to do it again in the uh, later in the winter time, let's say March. So if you can possibly save up the money and do this process in the fall time and twin your tanks by adding a second tank, you can get that price down, buy it at the lowest price. It's basically what it is is speculation. You're you're speculating that the price is not going to go lower. Um, and that most likely it's going to go higher and historically that's exactly what happens every single year I don't know if I've ever seen it stay at say 40 cents a liter um, so I'm going to take you outside and show you how I've done this process of course I didn't do it but I, I had it done and I'm hoping that like myself you're going to be able to do this and you're going to be able to save some money so that's what it's all about Another home hint from Border Home Inspections. Let's have a look outside. So here we are on the outside, and you can see I have two propane tanks. And put a plug in for cooperators in Lloydminster here that have allowed me to do this and have been great to work with, by the way. Um, so essentially what we have is the first tank here, again, 3,000 liters of fuel in this tank. and cost me about $1,200 in the fall time to fill this tank, but about upwards of $2,000 to fill it in the winter time because of the price fluctuations. So now what I've done is I've tied the two tanks together via this line right here. So right now what I've got happening is this tank is the only one I'm running on. So one of the nice things about doing that is this tank starts to get lower in, in the uh, fall and the early winter time. And when the temperatures dip down to the minus 30s or the minus 40s, when you have a low tank, it doesn't always work well because the 
propane pressure is down. It doesn't gasify essentially, it turns to liquid. It doesn't come up and go through the line to the house. So by having a second tank here full, say January, February, I can open this tank and close this one and run on a full tank. And then in the early uh, springtime, we can equalize the two tanks and then use the rest of the fuel. So there's real savings here. I believe, and this is the first year I'm doing this, but I believe that we're going to find that it's been a good choice. Again, if you can afford to do it, or if you can save and do it next year, I recommend doing it this way. Let me know what you think, and thanks for watching another Home Hints from Border Home Inspections.